everybody! My name is Laura and I'm the host of SVP Kids Online Church where we like to sing and pray and have fun while we hear God's word and we learn about how awesome it is to live a life following Jesus. I am so excited to be spending today with you. If you're here, that means you're a friend. You can be a friend whether you're a little kid, a big kid, or a kid at heart. And one of the things we get to do when we spend time together is become better friends. Not only that though, we're not just becoming better friends with each other, we get to become better friends with Jesus. How cool is that? Welcome back to our current series called Blueprints where we're talking all about our feelings or another word for that is our emotions. Why don't we get things started today by thinking about one thing that we're good at? And maybe even the thing that you're proud about being good at, okay? I know you are good at something, so I want you to think about what you're good at. Hmm, I am really good at reading. What about you? What is one thing that you're good at doing? Do you have your answer? You know, I am really good at reading. I do like it. Normally we're good at, because we like it, it allows us to get good at things, right? But here's the thing, I'm not perfect at reading. Some people might think I am because I read a lot of books during a year, but I'm not perfect at reading. I know I'm not a fast reader. There are people who are much faster readers than I am and I can get distracted really easily while reading a book. But still, I put effort into reading because I love it and it helps me be good at reading, right? And I'm sure the thing you're good at, maybe you answered that you were good at basketball or gymnastics or drawing or soccer or singing or video games. No matter what you're good at, I bet you're not perfect at it, right? Because nobody's perfect. God made us all special and different and we're all good at different things. Sometimes we might think that we need to be perfect at everything we do or at least the thing that we like doing the most, couldn't we be perfect at that? But it's not true. Jesus doesn't ever expect us to be perfect. He only wants our best. And that's what we need to know today. So I want you to repeat after me so that you can remember this. Are you ready? Here we go. When I feel I need to be perfect, Jesus only wants my best. Perfect, that's it. Okay, let's say it together. Let's try to make sure we got it, okay? Here we go. When I feel I need to be perfect, Jesus only wants my best. Great job. Yeah, okay, here's the challenge. I want you to listen for that phrase and see how many times you hear it said over the course of this video, all right? Because I want you to remember it, and so pay attention to it, and then try to say it along with it every time you hear it. Let's try it one more time. This is, I think, the third time we're saying it now. Let's try it. When I feel I need to be perfect, Jesus only wants my best. Amazing. And now, hopefully you'll remember it. All right, well, I think we're all set to get going with the rest of this video. Okay, check this out. Everybody get on your feet. Jump up high or duck down low to make it safely to the dump truck before it leaves the construction site. What's up, friends? My name is Nicole. Stay on your feet because it's time to worship God.
With all my mind and strength Will you show me God To love like you love me So all the world will see Great singing. You can all take a seat. When we feel all our emotions start building up, we need to deal with how we feel. And all we have to do is stop, look, and listen. First, stop to name how you feel. Take a deep breath, slowly count to three, or just close your eyes and think about how you're feeling. Next, look at what's really going on around you. Think about what is happening and what's making you feel this way. Then, listen to what God's Word says. When you take time to read and think about God's Word, He will always help you deal with how you feel. Here's what you need to know today. When I feel I need to be perfect, Jesus only wants my best. From the world's tallest skyscrapers to intricate marble run designs, things are under construction all around us. And it's exciting to watch it all because you never know what's going to happen. Especially on the hit construction show, Build It. Check this out. This is the best day. I just love to party. No, not like that. Maybe like this? Ugh, I don't know. Susanna, what's up? Ah! What on earth are you working on? I mean, what could be so important that it makes you want to miss out on this mega fantastical super fun time P-A-R-T-Y? Skip. This is more important than cupcakes and confetti right now. This dollhouse has to be the best dollhouse anyone has ever seen. Looks good to me. Good? Good? Skip, it can't just be good. It has to be perfect. No, 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 not again. Okay, well, I can tell that you need some more time to finish up whatever it is you're working on. But hurry up. Little Lemonade, the unicorn horse wonder, is gonna be here any minute. And I hear she's doing her flying trick today. We can't miss it! Just a, a little dab here. I thought you were almost done. Look at what Bongo the Clown gave me. Which color blue do you think it needs? Um, Suze, how many pairs of glasses does it take to see? There's no time for that. Which color is just right? I mean, perfect. How about blue? For a real skip, which blue? There is ocean mist, sky blue one, sky blue two, not to be confused with cloudy sky blue. Which color is gonna be just perfect? Okay. I can see that you need more time. Um, hurry up or you'll miss the best part of the party. There will be no present for the party if I can't get this finished. 
I thought it was finished. It looked great already, Suze. The party is almost over. It's over! Zeus, the party's over. Brought you a party favor. Let's play this or that. Emoji edition. Round one. Stop and see if you can name how Skip and Susanna feel. If you think the answer is on this side of the screen, wave your hands this way. But if the answer is on that side of the screen, wave your hands that way. How do you think Susanna felt about working on the dollhouse? Happy or critical? Wave your hands to the correct answer. That's right. Susanna was feeling very critical about the work she had done on the dollhouse. When Susanna decided to keep working on the dollhouse instead of going to the party, did Skip feel angry or worried? Wave your hands now. Right again! Skip felt worried because Susanna was going to miss out on all the fun at the party. If you think Susanna felt stressed about completing the dollhouse, wave your hands this way. But if you think she felt embarrassed, wave your hands that way. You got it! Susanna was very stressed. Way to go! That's how you stop and name your feelings. Round two. Let's look around at what was really going on. If you think the answer is on this side of the screen, pat your head. But if the answer is on that side of the screen, clap your hands. Was Susanna feeling stressed because she needed to be perfect or because she didn't like birthday parties? Pat your head or clap your hands. Susanna felt like she needed to be perfect. True or false? Susanna had a lot of fun. If you think it's true, pat your head. But if you think it's false, clap your hands. That's false. Being critical made Susanna miss out on all the fun with Skip and their friends at the party. Did Susanna really need to be perfect? Yes or no? Pat your head or clap your hands. No! Susanna could have remembered that Jesus only wants us to give our best. All she needed to do was stop Look and listen. The best thing to listen to is God's blueprint for life, the Bible. Check this out. Hey, everybody, listen up. Here's what God has to say. Oh, yeah. What you got for us today? Have you ever wanted something to be so perfect that it drove you crazy? Was it the pictures on your science fair project needing to be just right? Oh, 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 maybe it was finishing that last level, AKA boss level, with a perfect score. And then if you don't get it right, you have to restart and restart and restart and restart. We, and... we get the point. Sometimes trying to be perfect can cause a total freak out moment. But we can remember that Jesus wants us to do our best. Yeah, I mean, he wants our very best, but not to the point where we have unrealistic expectations that makes us lose our cool. Ah, oh, dude, it's kind of like that whole Martha and Mary situation. Am I right? I don't think I know what you're talking about. Oh, man. Okay, check it out. There are these two sisters, Martha and Mary, and one day as they're just hanging out, doing sister stuff, Jesus popped into town and wanted to come to their house. And that was, like, really cool, because... It's Jesus, and he's a pretty big deal. Can you imagine having Jesus come over to your house? I mean, not if that meant he would see all the dirty clothes on my bedroom floor. I'd have to get to work, and fast. I would want every single thing to be perfect. You totally get how Martha felt. Knowing that Jesus was coming to visit put Martha into work mode. I mean, as soon as he got there, she started running around all over the place, cleaning and cooking and cleaning some more. 
Now, don't get me wrong, it's good for things to be clean, and everyone definitely needs to eat, but Martha felt like she was the only one who cared, and that she was the only one doing all the work. Soon, these feelings caused a major problem. Oh no. Oh yeah. Martha, again, totally in food prep overdrive, was busy. You know, trying to make things perfect. But her sister Mary, not so much. Wait, where's Mary? Where's all... Mary in all this, you might ask? I think that's what I just said. Mary was just hanging out, listening to Jesus talk. And you know, when Jesus is talking, it's usually a good idea to listen. So that's exactly what Mary did. But that made Martha super mad. Martha was mad at Mary for listening to Jesus? Yeah, totally. I mean, here she was working hard to make sure everything was perfect for Jesus while Mary was just sitting there. Wait, why did that make Martha so mad? I thought it was important. Well, it was, but Martha was focused on the wrong thing. While she was busy with all that had to be done, she missed out on the good stuff. Oh, as in Jesus being right in front of her. Right! Well, Martha didn't see it that way, and she had had enough. She marched straight over to Jesus, and it went a little something like this. Jesus! Mary's just sitting over there, and I'm left to do all this work. Don't you care? Tell her to help me. Sounds like Martha was being critical of Mary. Exactly. Jesus let her know that Mary was actually the one doing the right thing. Martha was so stressed about making everything perfect for Jesus that she wasn't even able to enjoy his company. Okay, okay, I get it. It's not that cleaning and cooking was a bad thing. Martha just missed out on what was better. Rightio, muchacho. So, the next time you're stressed about things being perfect, don't forget, Jesus only wants your best. When I feel I need to be perfect, Jesus only wants my best. Everybody get on your feet. It's time to play Match the Moves. Watch the corners light up and be ready to repeat the pattern you see. Each round will add to the pattern and speed it up. Let's practice our moves. Jump, duck, twist, and shout. Now you're ready. Round one. Watch the pattern closely. Jump, twist, shout. Your turn. It's time for round two. Watch carefully. Jog, twist, shout, jog, duck. Let's see your moves. Last round. It's getting faster now. Jog, twist, shout, jog, duck, twist, shout. Match the moves. You did it. You can all take a seat. Let's play Piece It Together. In order to piece together this puzzle, answer a few questions. In today's Bible story, who came over to Mary and Martha's house? Jesus. Great job. Now it's time for our next question. True or false? Martha decided to take a nap while Jesus was at her house. False. Martha wanted everything to be perfect for Jesus, so she went into overdrive cooking and cleaning. Then she was really critical of Mary, who was just sitting listening to Jesus. We're getting closer to piecing this picture together. Let's answer one last question. Does Jesus expect us to be perfect? No, Jesus only wants us to give our best. Now that we have three pieces of our picture in place, see if you can piece it together. Shout it out when you know what it is. It's a toolbox. Let's memorize this verse together. But even if we don't feel at ease, God is greater than our feelings and he knows everything. 1 John 3.20 See if you can remember the words that have been paved over. But even if we don't feel at... But even if we don't feel at ease, God is... God is greater than our feelings, and He... 
He knows everything. First, 320. First John, 320. Nice work. One way to deal with all of your feelings is to worship God. So get on your feet. It's time to sing. You know when I'm lonely. You know when I'm sad. I know. And then you are with me. Yeah, you are with me. You know when I'm worried. You know when I'm mad. I know. And then I can trust you. Yeah, I can trust you. You don't want perfection. You just want my best. And when my mind is racing, you will give me rest. God is greater, greater than my feelings. He knows everything. He knows everything. God is greater, greater than my feelings. He knows everything. He knows everything. You know when I'm lonely. You know when I'm sad. I know. And then you are with me. trust you. Yeah, I can trust you. You don't want perfection. You just want my best. And when my mind is racing, you will give me rest. God is greater, greater than my feelings. He knows everything. Everything God is greater, greater than my feelings. He knows everything, He knows everything. You are greater than all I feel. You know it all and you always will. I trust in you with all that I've got. Doesn't even matter if I feel it or not. Woo! You are greater than all I feel. You know it all and you always will. I trust in you with all that I've got. Doesn't even matter if I feel it or not. Woo! God is greater, God is greater, greater than my feelings. Than my feelings. He knows everything. He knows everything. He knows everything. God is greater. God Great singing. You can all take a seat. Now, let's talk to God. Everyone bow your head, close your eyes, and pray with me. Hey God, when our feelings get out of control and we need everything to be perfect, please help us to stop and remember that you just want us to do our best. We love you. Amen. Wow, that was such a fun way to learn that when I feel I need to be perfect, Jesus only wants my best. Do you remember what happened in today's Bible passage that we learned about? How did it make Martha feel when she noticed that Mary wasn't helping her make everything perfect for Jesus? I mean, if Jesus was coming to your house, wouldn't you want everything to be perfect for him? I probably would. So how did Martha feel when, Je when Mary wasn't helping her? Can you name some emotions? Yeah, she was probably feeling angry or mad or frustrated or annoyed or what else might she be feeling? Grumpy, that could be it too. That's so true. Martha was angry with Mary because Mary was not helping her with cleaning and cooking. When Martha talked to Jesus about it, who did he say was doing the right thing? Martha or Mary? You're right, it was Mary. That's interesting, right? Because Martha was trying to be perfect. But Jesus said Mary was doing the right thing. Jesus showed Martha that she was so focused on trying to be perfect that she was missing out on spending time with Jesus. Her very best was good enough 
for Jesus and all he wanted was just to spend time with her. We can get so caught up in wanting to be perfect that we miss out on awesome things. But if we stop and look to see what's really going on, we can see that none of us are perfect. When we listen to the truth of God's word, we will see that Jesus only wants our best. And that reminds me of what we need to know today. So let's say it together, here we go. When I feel I need to be perfect, Jesus only wants my best. There's a verse in our blueprints for life, the Bible, that tells us what God says about dealing with our feelings. Let's practice it together. Start by saying it after me. 1 John 3, 20. But even if we don't feel at ease, God is greater than our feelings and he knows everything. 1 John 3, 20. Awesome job. Do you think you can say it with me now? Let's try it, here we go. 1 John 3, 20. But even if we don't feel at ease, God is greater than our feelings and he knows everything. 1 John 3, 20. Excellent, good job. This verse is going to be really helpful for us to remember. God is greater than our feelings. Keep working on this verse today and this week and throughout this series so that God can help you learn it and memorize it and then he can bring it to mind for you when he wants to help you deal with your feelings. Today has been a great day learning together about what to do when we're feeling worried or scared. Talking to God is one of the best things we can do to help us handle our feelings. And you know what? God wants to hear from you. He wants to talk to you and he wants to help you because he cares about you so much and he gave you your feelings so he can help you deal with them. One of, of course, when we talk to God, we're praying. So let's do that right now. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, amen. Hey God, thank you for always being with us and for the gifts you've given each of us. Help us to remember that you don't expect us to be perfect, but that you only want our best. Help us to remember to stop, look, and listen to you. We love you. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. I feel like we just built such a great time together and some really important lessons. Before you run off to construct the rest of your day, you and your family might be interested in these important notes. Online church isn't the only way to experience all of the SBP Kids fun. You can also join us at SBP Kids Live on Sunday mornings at St. Benedict Parish. Kids in elementary school, so primary to grade six, can join us downstairs at the 9 a.m. and the 11.30 a.m. Mass for SBP Kids Live. Just come on downstairs at the beginning of Mass or before Mass begins to hang out with us in the big room downstairs. And if you're younger or have little siblings, they can come to little SBP Kids, which happens at 9 a.m. Parents can drop little kids, that's pre-primary and younger, off at the desk down the stairs. So just come down the stairs and down the hall and you'll find little SBP kids. And if you are in older elementary, so that's grades four, five, and six, you can still come and hang out with us on Sunday mornings at SBP Kids Live. But I also want to invite you to something called The Encounter. The Encounter is a youth group for kids who are in grades four, five, and six. And we have so much fun. It happens on Wednesday nights at St. Benedict Parish and online at Zoom. So if you can't come in person, you can still come online. Um, I cannot wait to see you there to sign up and to get more information. You can go to stbenedict.ca slash youth and finding the information about the encounter. Did you know that we make two SBP Kids online church videos every week. That's right, we have a video for elementary kids and a video for preschoolers. You can find both of those videos over on our YouTube page at youtube.com slash SaintBP. You can also find all of the previous SBP Kids online church videos we have made, and we have made a lot now, so that's super cool. Um, subscribe to our YouTube page so you never miss the fun. All right, friends, thank you so much for coming and hanging out with me this week. You made me one happy person. I am so glad that God is bigger than our feelings and that he cares about us and our feelings enough to wanna help us. So 
make a plan to talk to God about your feelings this week and also to stop and pay attention to how you're feeling, look around to see what's really happening, and then listen to what God says when he helps you. All right, we've had such a great time today and I cannot wait to see you next week, and I hope I do. All right, see you then.